This is a 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan. It's been my home for the last four years, and it's changed a lot in that time. Crash pad couch. Just want to show you around for a minute. Got the couch made up now. When I first moved into the van, I camped in it like it was still a bike tour. I was in heaven. After all those years sleeping in tents, metal walls that didn't flap in the wind, and a machine I didn't have to pedal were the best things ever. Getting some coffee now. Making it into the van being bad. My first upgrade was a better air mattress. My bad. Oh, yes. I bought an Xped Megabat that is still, to this day, one of the most comfortable beds I've ever slept on. It would roll up tight and fit in the stow and go seat compartments when the seats were up. This meant I could drive Uber and Lyft to make some extra cash while traveling. I feel like I lived two lives. One, as a taxi driver, driving through cities, taking people places, and two, they say what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. I don't know, as a homeless man, and a man, I guess that's what it is. Let's do it. I own so little that everything fit in that floor, except for the cooler, but I just told passengers I was heading out for a camping trip after work. Then, in the spring of 2020, everything changed. We got news that they locked down San Francisco today. People can't leave their homes for three weeks. It's crazy. Yeah, I gotta be prepared for, for weeks. You know, weeks worth of water, that's a lot of water. I can't find gallon jugs, so adding to that supply is really difficult right now. Yeah. All right, I'm signing off, I'm going to sleep. Good night, guys. Be safe, wash your hands. Hope y'all are doing well. With the pandemic sweeping across the nation, my usual hangouts, places to work, charge batteries and shower, were suddenly closed off. But they just shut it down now. There's another, another gate. For at least a period of three months or six months. <laughs> so the casino's closed, I can't sleep here. I needed to adapt and adapt quickly. So I filled my van with months of food, increased my water capacity, and then I went into quarantine in the Nevada desert. On the very top shelf up in Overstock, I found two of these guys. So I'll be able to fill down their five gallons each. So that brings me up to like 15 gallons or something, which is like, I mean, I could probably stretch out for two weeks or something, maybe longer, depending on the weather. Walmart's crazy. Like, I mean, shelves are just bare, bare shelves, like totally bare. Like, yeah, it goes without saying, but I've never seen anything like this before. I now got like 15 gallons of water, so that'll be good for like two weeks or so. Yep, all right, time to throw, gotta go. Welcome to Las Vegas. Under quarantine. Life in quarantine was simple. Eat, ride bikes, climb, sleep, and repeat. So here we have our kitchen sink, the place where we drink, our shower. I filtered water from the nearby cattle tank and I wasted my life in the best way possible. Learning new routines, new habits, new ways of life right now. Got everything charging over here. Little solar setup, a little battery bank. Yeah. Home. Sun setting. It's really pretty here. Not a bad place to be for a while. After 40 some days in the desert, I decided to come into town and treat myself to a hotel room. It's time to like stock up on food and man, I'm feeling grungy. I haven't had a shower in close to 50 days, I think was my last shower. Two months later, with a pocket full of COVID cash, I went on a spending spree and upgraded my life. For the last year, I used my cooler as a table and the van as my only chair. I'd bought a small solar panel and a battery on my way out of Phoenix, but it was tiny and underpowered. I couldn't use my computer for more than an hour or two a day, so I bought a bigger battery and a bigger solar panel. This one here is the Yeti 500X. This is the Yeti 200X. Next, I bought bins to fit all my new stuff and then I was set, except for one big problem. With everything still closed nearly a year later, 
I needed a better way to work. This is one of my favorite things. It's just a little lap desk. So I can use that. I do all my work right off the right off the lap desk here. It was finally time to build out the van. First, I removed the seats, which created a ton of storage where the stow and go seats go. Then I cut a sheet of birch plywood to make a floor and I built a simple cabinet in the back for storage. I used my crash pad as a convertible bed and couch with a cheap Walmart table as my new workstation. Welcome to my studio. I was set. Suddenly, my van felt legit, like a tiny cabin on wheels. I would take a short break from the van to through hike and explore the country on foot when I met my future wife. In the spring of 2022, she'd move into the van. I bought a roof box to make more room for the two of us. And then for nearly a year, we traveled around the country. In four years of van life, my van has seen a lot of change. Couch set up. I just built like a really simple cabinet. Building it out certainly made life a little more cozy, but it didn't make me any happier. This life is about simplicity, minimalism, and living in sync with nature. The van isn't much more than a mobile bedroom with an ever-changing landscape as my living room and kitchen. It's a beautiful way to live, and I love almost every second of it. Can't take it anymore. I'm done. I quit. Scarred from years of living outside, it haunts me. It shakes my van. Rips stuff like my tarp away. It's horrible. I hate it. A 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan has been my home for the last four years. It's changed a lot in that time. <laughs>